Welcome back to Herb the Nerd and the start of season three of this Chelsea transfer ban series, where we are only buying in Wonder Kids 17 years or under to develop, to develop them up for the youth system. That's a thing. Yep, that's what we're doing. We start with a nice run at the start of the season. We have our fixture list in. We have, interestingly, five games to save our job. Eight points on five games was the, the target set down by Roman Abramovich at the end of last season after we failed to qualify for the Champions League. So we have Europa League football to come and our first five games being Brentford, Norwich, Tottenham, Wolves and and Newcastle. We should be able to get three wins from those five games, I believe. So we'll be starting the season today at home against Brentford. We had a very good off-season. Played some absolute farmer teams. Scoring, we won 20-0 or 15-0. Uh, we let in one goal across the whole pre-season. Tactic is looking fairly uh, standard, fairly similar to what we had before. We have had injuries to Hudson Odoi and to Tammy Abes before the start of the season. We have also been out in the market. So let me walk you through the ins and outs of the season. Oh, some of them came at the end of last season, it would appear. Um, so, on the outs, oh no, what's out? We have let go um, Tomori. Tomori went, I mean, he let me down in the FA Cup, but Tomori went out to Man United, 50 million pounds for him. Uh, I think some of these players we could have got more for, um, but with us not having Champions League, they were kicking on the fuss. So, I thought, get them out quickly, get the bad eggs out, give the contracts to the new boys or the, the boys that want to stay here and see if we can kind of stem the uh, the morale flow. So, Tomori went, we had a lot of players go out on for free, released on a loan as well. Asper Laqueta went to PSG for 18 million. Uh, and Ruben Loftus Cheek, we managed to get rid of as well for 30 million. So, those three players have gone. We have brought in. Um, a couple of youngsters. So we've got a Midlan Milosevic. Yep, this guy. He looks pretty good. Uh, defensive midfielder, one for the future, definitely. And there were a few more that came in, but aren't showing on the transfers yet. That's very odd. And then if we have a look at the future transfers, there we go. They're not in yet. They are all coming in over a distinct periods over the next couple of years. So we've got bids in for a load of of players all accepted to join we have um we're gonna bid for one guy who has a broken face alexandro saka is invisible so i hope as an inverted winger he can bring some of that you know that special power he's got one well football manager you managed to break the face on someone look he's blue here he's red whatever the background is that's his face um so we've gone in and we've literally bid we're bidding and buying in all of the 17 year olds we get our hands on uh we're paying five to 15 million for each of them spending the money because we've got 267 million in the bank so it doesn't matter who we buy so we're just taking a punt on as many of them as we can uh gone for as you will see a lot of um wonder kids south american wonder kids definitely but also try to pick up where we can the best talent coming out of europe uh, so these guys will be joining us as you can see 10 million 5 million 5 million 7 million uh, across the coming seasons 21 22 but if we're not here uh, it doesn't really matter <laughs> Doesn't really matter, does it? So we're going to have to win the games we got. So the transfers coming in, less important. Like I say, we'll keep an eye on the dev center as we go through the year. Anyone coming into this, we've already got a strong under-18 squad, which is good. We'll start mixing between the under-18s and the under-23s and make sure we get those guys with the right work permits and with the right citizenship before they're ready for the first team. But the first team we've got is a big first team that this is the tactic we're going to run with this is the team i think we're going to start with so it's kepper in goal uh, we've got the back four stays pretty much the same we've got emerson christensen zuma and james uh, obviously tomori leaving which means ampandu becomes the next best replacement hits the bench that boy needs some game time uh, we are changing it up a little bit going to give zuma the uh, just a central defender role rather than the ball playing role and christensen as that ball player on a cover so just sweeping up behind the defense knowing we've got attacking fullbacks there giving us a little bit of cover maybe seems to have worked in pre-season uh we're going to the midfield too we still got canty and uh matteo the cover king uh he was the captain and i think as part of christiansen's contract i gave him captain i didn't realize uh so he was a bit pissed off but he's fine now uh, so these two starting in we obviously have gilmore and i think mason mount is going to play in behind kante kante has been promised to leave if we get a bid in it seems like the the uh the interest in him has disappeared so while we have kante here we may play mount in a few more games as kante starts to step back he's 30 now we want to start stepping him out of the team but definitely keeping him around and the same with matteo he's been very strong for us at the dlp but we've got gilmore there that we need to give game time to as well coming across the three we have got Zayec Gravenberch in the Trek role. He seems to be uh, growing in that role, so we like that. And then on the left-hand side, we would normally have current hudson Adoy. We have Gabriel Varon um, coming into the first team. I was looking around. He doesn't look 
amazing on the attribute wise. Um, he's a guy we brought in, one of the first ones we brought in, 7.5 million um, from uh, Brazilian national team Palmeiras. That's what I knew. I knew it wasn't Sep. Uh, and we've got a few more bids in for a few more of their players. Uh, so he's going to step in. Obviously, that's a side that we had problems with. I've been looking at, and I'm trying to work out whether maybe we try Pulisic out there. He's very good with the dribbling. He's very good. We need to use him somewhere because he's just rotten away. He's still only 22. And if Zayac is going to play well, um, maybe we try him out on the left. Politics. He's going to sit on the bench. But yeah, we're going to give Gabriel Veron a go to start, I think, for his first game of the season. And then we'll throw Politics in and see if we can get him working alongside Callum hudson odoi And up front, Esposito starting today's game. But obviously, Tammy Abes will be the starting player. Striker, again, area that we're lacking in slightly. So we've got Cherky who can play up top, um, who we may bring in. Uh, but... That means we've got a lot of players here. A lot of them are now going to be offered out on loan. Dembele, I think, I'm going to put out uh, for loan. Uh, Beliza is a um, playmaker, but I think we're going to go for Gilmore. So he'll go out on loan. Uh, Gallagher will go out on loan. Chaloba, we're going to hold back just for backup. He's, I don't think he's going to make it. Don't tell him. Uh, we're going to hold him back as a backup defender because we've only got Mpandu. Uh, yes, Andrew go. Pert Harris, I've been interested by. He is an, a natural Trequatista, which helps with the formation we're playing. I'm not sure whether he'll stick around or we'll get him out. Jude will definitely go out on loan as well. Needs to be developed. Um, so we've got a big squad, but we're keeping the best players just, just in sight. If they're in our eyesight, they're in our eye line, we can definitely get game time made from. So today we take on Brentford to kick off the Premier League. Let's kick off season three with a win. We need three wins to save our job, essentially. And make sure we keep this this uh, save going if you are enjoying the save make sure you do click that like button um, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new welcome go and check out the the other two seasons as we look to build up a team and keep the the kind of mill going i'm just gonna make sure everyone is available and getting the right amount of reserve time and then we go in terms of tactics not really changed too much um we're gonna drop the outside players the zayich and the and the veron roll down to support roles um, and then i'm gonna push out the overlap on the wide players uh, only real change there just see if we can get a little bit more going forward uh, and also with them on support maybe a little bit more when we need to defend so it's going to be an exciting start let's give the guys that a great preseason. it's all going to be about goals and our ability to score goals we lost that ability towards the end of last season so let's get the game underway let's get into, off to a win let's get three wins in the first three games uh, and then roman can piss off First highlight here, 23 minutes in, it's Gravenberch. Puts in a corner, no one's there. We've sorted out as many as our set pieces as we can as well with some of the new personnel. Um, but, but this is good. It'd be good to see if some of these youngsters start to make an impact. Like I say, Kante being one of those roles that again will swap. Looking at you guys, your guys' uh, comments saying actually mount. Can be better box to box, which is where we were doing with Loftus Cheek. We've let Loftus Cheek go. And I think, yeah, we'll start to see the stepping out of Mr. Kante and the stepping in of Mr. Mason Mount. He's got a couple of good goals, actually, from that role as Veron goes forward. First chance to check out the youngster there. Oh, Veron has robbed Brentford defence here. He's cut inside. Esposito, one on one, puts it past Raya. And we go 1-0 up, 26 minutes in. Brentford, a bit of a baptism of fire for them coming up into the league. But that's good to see Esposito getting the goal. Raya here plays the ball out. And look at this, Veron straight in on Janssen. Wins it, gives us a two against one. Esposito then, one on one with the goalie. Bam. Slots it away, no questions asked. Easy first goal. Let's get the win. Let's just get the win. Let's score some more. Gravenberch winning the ball back as the Trek Batista. I like it. Reese James. Good ball inside. Esposito gets there. Can he find Gravenberch? He finds Zayech, who smashes it. Nowhere near the goal. Zayech now. Free kick. Whips it in. Back post. Who's there? Janssen's there. Janssen clears. Pontus Janssen. Did a great job there. And the Ben Harama is going he's being pursued there esposito getting back and making the tackle uh, i'm sorry mate you have to get forward because we were attacking now and i haven't got a striker emerson he's darted inside oh the trek was there esposito has got the ball back and gravenberch takes a shot raya the save it wasn't a great shot to be fair from gravenberch esposito getting back up in the end the boy doesn't stop running emerson now christensen Christensen, the club captain. We've locked him down on longer contracts. We've locked Zuma down on longer contracts. So as a centre-back partnership, should be the ones for us going forward. And Pandu obviously will come in and play second fiddle and get get a bit of game time when, when we need to rest those guys, which is good for him. Tomori leaving after, you know, let me down in that FA Cup final, which we're not talking about. So we get into the second half here. Great ball from Gravenberch out to Zayic. 
Cuts inside, lovely ball whipped in. Esposito up and Rea saves. Not a, a header that wasn't really gonna wasn't really gonna do too much damage there. We are obviously in the Europa League this year. Disappointing for the club not to be in the Champions League. So we uh, we are challenged with getting to at least the final of that competition. Uh, we need a win. I mean, I'll take a Europa League win to make sure we get oof, into the Champions League. Uh, we need a much stronger performance in the league. And obviously, as we start to rotate some of these youngsters in, I need some of them to put in some big performances as Gabriel Veron steps out and clears that. Jensen. Back to Jensen inside the pinnock. And that, that died. died. Big ball over the top. Esposito, he's got another one-on-one. -on -one. He slots it past Rea. Two for Esposito to start the season. Is he coming for Tammy's position? I mean, Tammy's very good. I don't, I don't think he'll be... I don't, not this season, at least. But what, what a, a bit of long ball football here. The cover king looks up. Bam. Playmaker over the top. Esposito, one touch. Gets it in his stride. And then slots it past Rea, who decides to try and control it with his foot rather than uh, dive. Interesting. Didn't work for you, mate. 55 minutes in. Zayac is looking a little tired, actually. Let's get Pulisic in. We don't want to waste him. Um... Like I say, we'll have a, I'll have a look at how he performs, how Veron performs coming in on the left. Hudson Odoi is obviously going to be back in soon as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I let Pulisic, I let Dembele get in front of Pulisic, I think, last season. Probably too much. Dembele was still young. Um, he didn't really come up with the goods enough for me to, to warrant that, I think. So looking at it objectively, uh, I think Pulisic will start more games. Dembele, I may let go out on loan. Uh, especially the guys that are younger. Cherky, I think, is one as well that... Because he can play that striker role, we're keeping hold of him. But he could, he, at 17, the youngsters we really should be given at least one or two um, seasons out on loan, I think. As Reese James is now forward, can he find a ball into the box? He can find Pulisic. We've just been talking about him. He's cut inside. He's laid it off to Veron. Veron's got a second snatch at it. He can't get it inside. Norgard is mucking around with it in his own box. Jesus. And I think we might see a little performance from Mason Mountain here. Come in. Oh, he's taking a deflection. The free kick's taking a deflection there. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Let's give uh, Kante a rest. Let's start, start the uh, the progression of moving him out. Mason Mount stepping in. 70 minutes on the clock. 2-0 up. It's been comfortable for us at home here. A nice home game against Brentford is what I wanted. But when I knew I had five games to, uh, to get those eight points and get Roman Abramovich off my back. Seeing that first five games... Gave me some good feels, I have to say. Pulisic here out to Kovacic. Oh, Veron keeps it. He wins it back. Mason Mount smashes it, Rea. We'll see from Mount something we do not see from um, Kante as well is that he's much better going forward. So we've got a box to box midfielder now who can offer a lot more in attack as well, which I'm hoping will help us. Help us get some more goals. Kepa now out to Emerson. Finds Gabriel Veron. Comes inside, Cover King finds Gravenberch. Gravenberch driving forward as that trek. Pulisic, oh, I mean, it was a lovely play. It's what we like to see from Gravenberch. He's going to pick the ball up and he is going to run with it. As Carvalho now has a free kick. I like Hulk. Yow Carvalho. We had him uh, with a Crystal Palace bottom at Christmas challenge, I think it was. He was brilliant. I mean, we still got relegated, but he was brilliant. Mason Mountain in. Zoom is up. Oh, we've hit the goalie. Christian, come on, mate. Christiansen puts it back to Zuma. Zuma, go home. I've taken Zuma off the ball playing role to stop him making mistakes like that. It's one of the reasons. I thought, let's just shore up the defence. Let's make him defend a little better. We let in a few too many goals, I think. Oh, it's Gabriel Veron. I thought that was destined for the top corner. Yeah, I think we let in a few too many goals. So we're trying to be a little bit more defensively sure. Obviously, we've let that DLP role become a support role rather than defend. So the idea is... We are a little bit more defensively sound this season. We try and keep a few more clean sheets, which will help against the bigger boys. But today's game has not been a challenge. As Gabriel Veron robs again, cuts in. Can he find a pass? He finds Christian Pulisic. I mean, I'm judging them two against each other at the moment. I'm seeing Veron do a lot of good, and Pulisic missed a lot. And this looks like it's going to be it. Call time referee, 2-0 winners at home. First game of season three. A few of the youngsters in, a few changes, nothing to worry about to start with. 31 shots, 17 on target. Only two goals, which will be the only thing that I'd be slightly worried about there, is our conversion rate on shots on target versus goals. But that is what we wanted to see to kick off the season. Few debuts, a few easy goals. Lovely, jubbly. That is three points of the five points needed. Uh, we need, oh no, sorry, three points of the eight points. We need five points for the next four matches. Norwich is next, then Tottenham, Wolves, and Newcastle. So I think we'll be back 
for the London Derby against Tottenham to round out the week's episodes. So I'll see you back for then. If you have enjoyed, like I say, smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And if you are new, do go and check out the other two seasons. And I'll catch you for a Tottenham game that could well just give Roman the backing that Herb is the right man to take this Wonderkid team forward. Have a great day. Bye-bye.